Hey guys, what's going on? Kel back here once again representing the 40 Call YouTube channel bringing you another Warhammer 40,000 related video. Today we have something a bit special. Today I've managed to get my hands on some of the new details, pictures and loadouts and stats for the new Doomstalker and Destroyer models for the Necron army. These look very cool, um, so we're going to get straight in the video after a, a quick couple of shout outs. Um, thank you very much as always to everyone who subscribed to the channel up to now. Almost to 300 subs, guys. Keep the subscriptions coming so we can get ourselves up to 300 and 500, uh, so on and so forth. Thank you all very much for the likes and the comments. Um, had a few comments come in overnight, over the past 24 hours. Really good to see that you guys are liking what we're doing, supporting the channel, and it is muchly appreciated. If you're new to 40 Call, we post Warhammer 40,000 content videos every single day. Things like news, hints, tips, reviews, unboxing videos, painting videos, point change reviews, all kinds of stuff. We love 40k and we love doing videos about it. So if you're into 40k as much as we are, then subscribe to the channel and be part of the channel and help us grow, like I said, into something big and something amazing. But with that said, let's get in this video. Um, we've got I've got two pictures to show you guys today. One is the Doomstalker, one is the Destroyer, like I said. Starting with the Doomstalker, I've tried to get it on the screen as best I can. Um, the video, the, the picture that I got wasn't great to begin with, so I had to clean it up and change it a bit. But hopefully um, you guys can see this um, and see the stats, which is the most important thing. First of all, um, let's have a look at the uh, the movement and stuff. So the movement of the Doomstalker depends on how many wounds it's got left. As you can see, it, it changes from um, 7 plus wounds, 4 to 6 and 1 to 3. If it has... It's maximum amount of wounds left, which looks like it's 12. It can move 10 inches. Weapon skill, ability skill is 4 plus. Strength 6, toughness 6. It has 3 attacks, leadership 10, and saves on a 3 plus. Um, 4 to 6 wounds. Moves 8 inches. Weapon skill is 5 plus. Ballistic skill is 4 plus. Strength and toughness is 6. Uh, wounds doesn't matter. Uh, 2 attacks, leadership 10, and saves on a 3 plus. If it's down to its final bracket of 1 to 3 wounds, it only moves 6 inches. Weapon skill is 6 plus. Ballistic skill is 4 plus. Uh, strength, toughness, and wounds are the same. Will, uh, attack is 1. Leadership 10 and saves on a 3. So basically, you want this guy on as many wounds as you can. Um, so its big heavy weapon is hitting on the 4s. Now, for its weapon itself, it's called uh, the Doomsday Blaster. When attacking with this weapon, you have to select one of the profiles below. The low power version, which is 24 inch range, heavy D6 shots, strength 8, AP minus 2, D3 damage. So that's, that's powerful enough as it is. But the high power version is 48 inch range, heavy D6, strength 10, AP minus 5, D6 damage. But this profile can only be used if the bearer remains stationary during this turn. Which, for me, if I had one, this would what it would do. Sit at the back, 48 inch range is, is a long, long way. It's almost to the end of the board, I believe. Um, it's for firing strength 10 weapons out, even if you get one shot off to do D6 damage, it's that's very, very powerful. And it's also equipped with uh, a twin gauze flare of. 24 inch range, rapid fire 2, um, strength 4, AP minus 1, 1 damage. And what's interesting as well is this has a containment field, so the model also has a 5 plus invulnerable save. Uh, faction keywords is Necrons, uh, Canoptic uh, and Dynasty keywords is Monster, Canoptic Doomstalker, which is interesting. So you're going to, if, if, like I say, if it was me, this guy would be sat at the back. Firing the maximum amount of heavy shots to be my kind of anti-tank weapon. Um, it's tall, so you could put it at the back and it could probably have really good line of sight. Um, D6 shots, you're definitely going to be getting one. Um, if you roll really well and you get like six shots, or if you go for the average, which is three. Three, strength, ten, AP minus five. Most stuff isn't going to be getting a save. If you're going to be going up against Space Marines and you'll be shooting things like Repulsor Executioners, no save. Um, the Impulsor, I think, can have an invulnerable save with a, uh, a force field kind of shield thing. I think the new tank that's about to come out, uh, the, the the triple type of tanks, um, doesn't look like they have an invulnerable save. So more stuff you're going to be melting through. Things like um, Redemptor Dreads, um, Invicta Tactical Warsuits, 
No invulnerable save. So you'll be melting through that. And D6 damage. This thing is going to be devastating at the back. Very, very devastating. Um, be interesting when they come out to get some, some battle reports to see how they are. If you can't see the power rate at the top, the power rating for the model is 7. What the points are, no one knows as yet. Um, I asked I asked around where I, where I got this picture from. No information that is yet. So now we should be able to have a quick look at the destroyer. And here we have the Locust Heavy Destroyers. Power rating is 4. I'll read it out for people who can't see very much. Now the number of models you can have is 1 to 3 in a squad. Locust Heavy Destroyer moves 8 inches. Weapon skill, ballistic skill is 3+. plus. Strength 4. Toughness 5. 4 wounds. 2 attacks. Leadership, leadership 10. Saves on a 3. If this unit contains 2 models, the power rating is increased to 8. If the unit contains 3 models, the power rating is increased to 12. Every model is equipped with a Gauze Destructor. And the Gauze Destructor has 36 inch range, heavy 1, strength 10, AP minus 4, but the damage is 3d3 damage. 3d3, which is crazy. Now the picture of the uh, heavy destroyer isn't the one that we've seen floating around. The weapon is slightly different. Um, now this is because it could be that the war gear options, any models, any number of models can be equipped with an emitic exterminator instead of one gauze destructor. Now the emitic exterminator has 36 inch range. It's a heavy 3d3 shots, strength 7, AP minus 1 and 1 damage, which is interesting now the only bit the problem with the with the picture is we i can't see the keywords so whether or not you are able to still move and fire these heavy weapons without penalty is going to be a good question i'm very sorry that the picture doesn't actually show that but it's interesting to have what we have um the it would be good if they could move and fire without penalty otherwise they'd be hitting on fours um I've had a look at this, and I don't know which pick, which weapon I would actually pick. Maybe if you had a squad of three, which I don't see why you wouldn't. Um, power rate and twelve, probably a lot of points. Maybe two with the gauze destructor, one with the exterminator. Maybe even at strength seven, that's going to be hurting tanks and um, dreadnoughts on fours. It's going to be hitting on threes. Wounded on fours, where the the destructor is going to be hitting on threes, wounded on threes, for AP minus four for three D three damage. It's interesting. It's definitely going to be at least three damage. It's an, it's it's a interesting one to come across. Maybe like I say, you take one uh one exterminator for anti troop, and you take two anti tank. Maybe, um. If I get a bit of quality picture of this later on today, I will happily do an update video on this video and uh, see what keywords and other abilities these things have. Be interesting. But that's going to be it, guys. Um, as always, um, thank you very much to, for everyone who has watched the video up to now. Um, if you still hate the end, please like the video and leave some comments on what you think. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. It's the only way the channel is going to grow uh, bigger and better. And we can only do that with, uh, with your support. But what are your thoughts, guys? Um, leave some comments below for me and Carl. This is a very interesting article and I hope it makes you dear like it's made mine. Um, read, leave your comments below. I can't wait to read them at the end. Um, but that's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is Kel signing out for 40 Call, saying stay safe, look after each other. Until next time, guys, we'll see you all later.